NBC7's Dave Summers is live from Desiree Lane. And Dave, we understand that a neighbor was actually hurt pulling a man out of that burning house. Yeah, that's what happened. The victim's 20-year-old neighbor burned his hands severely trying to open this garage door to get to him. It was a dramatic scene with flames leaping over the house several feet. Neighbors trying to get each other out of the way and out of the way of this burning ammunition. From across the street, a neighbor captured these dramatic images of the Rondinelli home going up in flames. 60-year-old Naz was inside taking an afternoon nap. My dad heard the smoke alarm go off, came out of his bedroom and went to the garage door inside the house, opened it and it was engulfed in flames. Investigators aren't sure of the cause, but say the fire definitely started in the garage. A 20 year old neighbor severely burned his hands trying to lift the garage door to get to Naz. It was great that he helped, but it's one of those things that, you know, um, unless you're trained and have the equipment, it's just it's diff it's really easy to get yourself in position to get hurt. Another neighbor rushed to the aid of Eileen Burks. In this video, her house is the one in front of the flames. She has MS and lives alone. I feel good. I feel it's cold. I want to go home. Good Samaritans pitched in at great risk. A large box of ammunition in the garage could be heard popping in the heat of the flames. Live power lines fell from the roof and danced on the street while an open gas line was feeding the fire inside. First responders were held at bay for 20 minutes until they could get close enough to aggressively attack this fire. Despite the potential for a far worse outcome, the fire was contained primarily to the garage and Naz escaped without injury. He's thankful. He said thank you and he was thanking all the firemen right now. Well, the, fata the fatality of record was the family cat, Tazzy, the animal. Uh, she's been with uh, the Rondinelli's for about 10 years. Now, the fire chief says that at the time of the blaze, the, the, the house uh, was on the market for sale and was actually an escrow. They were already packed to move to a new home in Lakeside. Live in Santee, I'm Dave Summers, NBC7.